Hi everybody, it's Linda from Linda Takes It Back. Uh, if you're new, welcome to my channel. If you've been here a while, sorry I haven't done an update in a little while. Um, I've had a lot going on, as you can tell from my last update. So uh, just to fill in anyone who's new here, I wanted to let you know that I created this channel to kind of chronicle my journey um, to get away from chronic pain, to alleviate my chronic pain and to get control of my life back. So that's why I'm here. And one of the ways that I was gonna do that is through VSG surgery. So I had bariatric surgery on May 17th, 2019 at the hospital of the University of Pennsylvania with Dr. Dumont from Penn Bariatrics. And um, my starting weight at the beginning of the six month process was 217. When I had the surgery, day of surgery, I was 201.1. That's the, that's actually the night before because they made me drink a giant thing of Gatorade the night before and then the morning of another giant thing of Gatorade, which I know nobody else does, but it was supposed to help balance my electrolytes and it wasn't the zero Gatorade either. Anyway, long story, it worked out fine. <laughs> and um, so the lowest weight that I have had was at my last video where I was 167. And today I'm coming at you about a month later, or maybe three weeks later, five pounds heavier at 172. Ugh, life in my heart, it's awful. And um, I'm cutting myself a little bit of slack, but I know it's just been a tough time, a lot going on with my family and my husband's um, parents passed away. So, um, my mother-in-law passed away in May, and my father-in-law passed away on New Year's Eve, the same day that I had gallbladder surgery. So it's been a little crazy in the past month, and there's been some other stuff on top of that, trying to um, get you know all their belongings in their house, and that's where I am today, uh, going through everything, donating, keeping, and figuring that all out, and also trying to stage the house for putting it on the market. So there's a lot we're doing and we're trying to manage all our kids' activities, everything with our normal life, and then also trying to do this. And so we've been up here a lot. We're up here like once during the week and then again on the weekends, meeting with people and trying to sell things like his car and his entire uh, work workshop because he was a woodworker as well as a surgeon, my father-in-law. and. Um, it's been a lot. It's a lot of details to handle and um, and then not to go into it too much, but you know, when you have a situation like this, there's a lot of emotions and there's a lot of things going on with family and there's a lot of anxiety on my part. And it was just a tough month to get through. Uh, and now things are going at a little better pace because my husband and I are the ones handling clearing out the house and getting things ready and we can make decisions and we can move forward. We were kind of stuck for a few weeks and it was very frustrating. And so um, I've just been dealing with a lot and you know, I get everyone saying VSG is a tool. It doesn't change yourself on the inside. All those things are true. And I had a really great mindset when I first had the surgery, things were going great. And then because I started at a lower BMI, I dropped quickly and then I got down to 167 and then I just stopped. And I would go up and down and up and down and up and down. And it was frustrating to me because I really wanna get down to like 150 or 155 so that when I start building muscle, you know, I have a little bit of wiggle room and yeah, I should be happy at 167, right? I should be cool. This is, I just really wanted to alleviate my pain and I'm doing that, but I also want to be stronger and I want to uh, leave a little bit of wiggle room in case there's regain in a year or so, like I see a lot of people going through. Um, anyway, so in my mind, I feel like I've got a way to go and it's been kind of playing tricks on me, you know, and my... I don't know, motivation, and it's been tough to plan meals, it's been tough to do a lot of things, and then 
having all this anxiety and frustration and sadness and so much going on, you know, your, your old ways of coping with things are right there, you know? You can snack, especially at night. I've been just feeling like a bottomless pit, like needing to snack on crunchy things. And that's how I would calm myself before. Whenever I was anxious, I would snack and eat and that's sweets and savory and back and forth. And I've been doing that and I've been feeling it getting out of control. I've been trying to like dial it back and do meal prep and it still is there. And I'm starting to like taper off and now I'm leveling out. Um, but I did call my bariatric center. I went to three different support groups that they had over the past like month or so, trying to kind of reel myself in and just have some motivation, some kind of um, help in this department. But when you go to a support group, they don't really talk about your individual issues. It's just kind of um, talking about what everyone's going through. And that was fine, but I felt like I really needed someone who got me, a therapist who could give me more insight than that. And when I ca called the bariatric center, they said that theirs was booked for like six months out. And I was really bummed. But I did get them to give me a referral list and there were two people on the list that used to work with them at the bariatric center. And so I got in with one of them and so far it's going really well. I've had two appointments so far and the therapist um, talks about cognitive behavioral therapy. So what I really like about that, from what I've learned about it so far, is that it's about the now, the present. What are you going through now? Not about let's talk for months and months about your past and your childhood and I'll know all about you and then I'll give you some insight like a year down the road. And so I'm um, really looking forward to that. So we've had two appointments where I've talked about some of the issues I'm going through right now and um, just looking for tips on how to get back on track and get my mindset back on track and stop snacking and stop doing all these behaviors that I don't want to do. One of the things that the therapist just talked to me about was this whole situation. This whole situation with my father-in-law being sick was about three months, four months, and then now settling up his estate. And then he's like, so is that going to be a long-term thing? And I'm like, no, it's not. It's going to hopefully just be another month or so. And so thinking about it that way, I know I can get through it. And thinking about this is a finite time, a stressful time, but we know it's going to be wrapping up soon. That does kind of help in the mindset of, I'm not going to have to deal with this for much longer and it'll all be okay. And just getting myself back into a place where I'm on track again. So I'm here today and uh, it's kind of quiet, but uh, a little weird. I brought a bunch of stuff from home to kind of stage the house because my sister-in-law took a lot of the furniture to, she's having it shipped to New Mexico to her. And because my, my father-in-law was a woodworker, he made like china cabinets and curios and beautiful things so we're gonna get some of it once the house is sold and she took a bunch so we kind of rearranged things i want to show you the cute little thing i did see what you think hold on let's see if i can switch this around i don't even know how oh well let me i'm like propped on the doorknob right now because <laughs> i was like this is really good light and i don't have my selfie stick with me <laughs> but uh let me see if i can show you oh no that's covering the camera that's no good this is my tea sorry i must multitask okay so they have a little sunroom here which is really cute and so i oh sorry this is a really bad angle but i made oh they had the plant stand and i brought some artificial plants from home just to kind of decorate it a little bit and we're going to be hanging more um pictures and stuff this weekend we kind of have a good game plan of what we're going to do my husband sold the car today, so hopefully that person will come and pick that up this weekend too. And um, we've been trying to sell my father-in-law's workshop and all that. It's just, there's so many details and so much. Like we did two runs to Salvation Army in one day, filled up the whole minivan, and I have a whole nother batch to go 
but luckily we're getting near the end of all the stuff. So, you know, when you live in a, you're married for 50 years and you know, you have a lot of stuff <laughs> and it was nice stuff. So I felt like I wanted people in the family to have it. And we're trying to figure out what to do with everything and you just can't hold on to everything either. But um, see, so I'm doing the CDs over there right now. <laughs> um, and working on the kitchen and all that. So there's still clutter, but it's it's getting to look like a normal room again. So I'm sorry that it, I haven't done an update and I was just feeling like I don't want to um, be a, a hiccup in anyone else's journey. Let me put my tea down. Um, you know, I don't wanna be the person that's making someone else fail. And I know it's in the same time, like, Everybody has challenges and everybody has things that you're going through. And I want to get out there and tell you like, man, something, something just happened and boom, I used all those coping mechanisms that I used in the past and I've got to figure out something else. I'm taking lots of hot baths. I'm trying to walk a lot. I'm wearing my Fitbit every day, just trying to soothe myself in other ways. And I know I'm going to get to it. I'm going to get back on track. It's just going to take me a minute. And if you guys have any suggestions, I would love to hear them. But don't think that... I was talking to my husband about it. I haven't done a video and I how I felt about it. I'm sorry, I'm shaking. I really don't have a, a stand right now. Um, and he said, well, you know, it's like Facebook. It's like Facebook where everybody posts all the happy times and some people only post the happy times and they never post when anything hard happens or anything sad happens. And so everyone thinks everyone's life is perfect. And so if I only post on YouTube when I lose weight, then you're gonna think this VSG journey is just easy peasy and you're gonna have to have it and you're never gonna have any challenges and life's gonna happen and it's not gonna blow up on you and you have to figure it out. And honestly, so I'm eight and a half months out and I can, I can snack, I can eat every hour. And I know sometimes I have hunger. So in the morning I have hunger and sometimes my stomach growls hungry, but at night I'm just, I'm just snacking to comfort myself and I know it and I have to get it under control and I have to start exercising more. There's a lot I have to do, but I also kind of need to take care of myself right now. Like we're going through a lot. I need to make sure I take care of my husband. He's been through so much and we need to like decompress a little bit from everything that's happened in the past few months. So there's an element of just taking it easy at the same time, but not going off track. And so today I came up and I brought protein shake. I brought beef taco soup, meal prep. I brought some chicken fajita and snacks to have, like good snacks. <laughs> I brought a banana. So I'm, I'm trying to get back in that mindset and, and you know, that's the best we can do. We're working it, it one day at a time, one week at a time and making the changes we need to make and figuring it out as we go along. So I'll keep you posted guys. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're having a good week and I will talk to you soon. Bye.